Hello students, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss the concept of maximal element in a PO set and maximum in a PO set. And we are also going to understand what is the difference between the two. What is the difference between maximal element and maximum in a PO set. So coming to the first concept, which is the concept of maximal element in a PO set. So let us firstly understand what do you mean by maximal element in a PO set. So let P less than or equal to be a PO set. Then an element A belonging to P is said to be a maximal element of the PO set P if there does not exist any element Z belonging to P which is bigger than A. There should be no Z, there should be no Z belonging to P such that Z is bigger than A. This is what do you mean by saying that A is maximal. A will be called a belonging to P will be called maximal if there exists no element of P which is bigger than A. Mathematically, if we try to express this fact, this simply means that if there is an element Z belonging to P which behaves like this, which means that Z is bigger than A or uh, Z is greater than A, then that Z should be equal to A because there should be, because if A has to be maximal, then there should be no Z which is bigger than A, which means that if there is a Z which is behaving like this, that Z is greater than or equal to A or A is less than or equal to Z or Z is bigger than A, then this Z should be equal to A. So if, uh, if we interpret this uh, fact uh, uh, by uh, diagrammatically, by, by using the hash diagram, so if you draw the hash diagram of uh, a PO set P in which uh, an element A is maximal, then because uh, A is maximal, so there will be no element of P which will be bigger than A, which means that uh, when the element A will be encountered in the hash diagram while we are drawing the hash diagram for P, like this whatever uh, suppose this is the hash diagram for p and when we are uh, drawing the hash diagram for uh, this p then uh, uh, since a is the maximal and there is uh, no element uh, of uh, the po set p which is bigger than a this means that there will be no element of a uh, no element uh, of the po set p which will be above a so so p will so a if you will see a will be uh, at the top of uh, P and there will be no element on the top of A. So uh, all the maximal elements will be seen at the top. So when you are, so this is how the maximal elements will look when we draw the hash diagram. So if we uh, just see a few examples, uh, this particular example, which is example one, these two elements A and B, this is a PO set. And these two elements A and B are such that there is no element which is lying above uh, them. There is no element which is at the top of A, there is no element which is at the top of B, which means that there is no element which is bigger than A, there is no element which is bigger than B. So uh, these two elements which are lying at the top, these are the maximal elements. So there are two maximal elements in this PO set. So this example also establishes the fact uh, that um, a PO set can have more than one maximal element. Similarly, uh, let us take uh, another uh, example, example 2. Uh, here also, uh, there are two maximal elements A and B because there is no element uh, of the PO set, the given PO set which is uh, above A, there is no element of the given PO set which is above B. So both of them are lying at the top which means that both of them are maximal elements. So this is another example of a PO set with uh, more than one uh, maximal elements. You can have uh, PO sets uh, uh, with uh, three maximal elements. This is another PO set with three maximal elements uh, at the top. So these are uh, the, these the, uh, these three elements are behaving in such a way uh, that there is no element of the PO set which is above them. So these particular three elements which are darkened, which I am darkening, these three elements which are at the top for this particular PO set are the maximal elements. So you can have uh, PO sets having more than one maximal elements. And then uh, coming to this particular example, which is example 3, uh, this is uh, the hash diagram of a PO set and uh, there is one uh, maximal element uh, A uh, which is lying at the top and there is no element which is uh, greater than it, which means that A is a maximal element, but A is the only element which is maximal. In such a case, when A is the when when uh, there is an element like A, which is the only element which is maximal, 
then uh, this element will not only be the maximal element but it will be called the maximum of the PO set. So, A happens to be uh, not only maximal element in this particular case but it is also the maximum of the PO set because this is the only maximal element in this particular PO set. So, uh, this means that uh, a, a maximal element, this A which was uh, actually a maximal element because there was uh, no element on the top of it, this finally because this was the only maximal element, so it became the maximum. Uh, so, this maximal element becomes maximum when uh, this particular element is such that every element of the PO set is below it. You can see every element of the PO set is below it. If I change my pen color, see this element is below it, this element is below A, this element is below A, this element is below A. So, every element of the PO set is below this maximal element. So, when such a thing happens that every element of the PO set is below the maximal element, then the maximal element becomes the maximum. So, this gives me the uh, definition of uh, maximum. So, if uh, we are in a PO set, so coming to uh, the second definition which is the uh, definition of uh, maximum. So, if P less than equal to is a PO set, then uh, an element A belonging to P is said to be maximum or it is called greatest element if every element of P is below it. If every element of P is below this particular element A or every element of every element of P is smaller than A, which means that uh, X is less than equal to A for all X belonging to P. So, every X is smaller than A or every X is below A. So, uh, in this case A is uh, denoted by max P if it is uh, maximum and we have already seen uh, in the previous example which is example uh, 3, we have already seen that uh, this particular uh, example had a maximal element and uh, since uh, this was the only uh, maximal element, this particular element became the maximum also. But if we see uh, uh, the previous examples, which is uh, this one, example 2, in this case uh, A and B are uh, maximal elements, but they are not maximum because uh, uh, for an element A belonging to P to be maximum, every element x belonging to p should be such that x should be less than equal to a every element should be smaller than a every element should be below a but here uh, this element can't be maximum because uh, every element of p is not below a uh, this is this uh, a and b are not comparable comparable at all and this also element is not below a so every element of p is not below a so a can't be maximal maximum and this b also can't be maximum because if b had to be maximum then every element of the PO set should have been below b but this is not happening so a and b although a and b are maximal but they are not maximum because every element is not smaller than a and b every element of the PO set p is not below uh, a and B. So, this is a this is an example of a PO set in which although maximal elements are there, but maximum is not there. Uh, same thing goes for uh, example 1 that we did uh, before. Here, a, here again A and B are maximal elements, but they are not maximum. So, it can happen that a PO set may not have a maximum element, but it can have maximal element. So, maximal can be there, but maximum might not be there. So, in example 1, there are two maximal elements, but no maximum. In example 2, there are again two maximal elements, but no maximum. In example 3, there is one maximal element uh, and that maximal element is maximum also. So, a few notes uh, in this regard. Uh, so, we have seen uh, that a PO set uh, may have a maximum, it may not have a maximum, but it can, but if you are given a PO set P, then it can have at most one maximum, it can have at most one greatest element. Uh, maximum is also called the greatest element. So, maximum, uh, so, uh, so uh, the maximum possible number of maximum elements can be one. Either a PO set will have one maximum or it will not have any maximum, but it will have at most one maximum. If it has a maximum, then it can be, then it uh, can, can have only, if a PO set P has a maximum, it can be uh, one, uh, but there can't be two maximums. It is not possible for that uh, in a PO set. Then again, every greatest element, 
uh, is maximal. We have seen in this particular example three. Uh, this uh, particular in this particular example, uh, this particular example shows that a this particular a uh, this uh, is maximal and uh, it is also maximum. Uh, because this is the only maximal element to, so it is maximum. So, uh, so in a PO set, if there is a maximum, if there is a greatest element, then it is maximal also. So, that we have seen in example 3. And then uh, coming to uh, another node, uh, this node says, third node, uh, the third node says that if P uh, is less than or equal to is a PO set and if it is finite, if it is a finite PO set, uh, if, you, if you have uh, P is a uh, PO set which is finite, finite PO set and if uh, Q is a uh, subset of it, non-empty subset of it, if Q has at least one element. So, if Q is a non-empty subset of it, then Q, the, the result says that Q will have at least one maximal element. So, this is another result that we have that for a finite PO set, uh, any uh, non-empty subset, uh, if you take for a finite PO set, then any non-empty uh, subset of uh, a finite PO set always has at least one maximal element. And now coming to the last uh, note. Uh, now last note uh, in this uh, note we have used a result which uh, I have already uh, explained in my videos uh, that if x is any set then we already know that the power set of x which is the set of all uh, subsets of x uh, with respect to inclusion relation or with respect to the relation is subset of or is contained in we know that power set of x is a PO set. So, if x is given to be any set then power set of x with respect to inclusion relation or is contained in is always a PO set that we know. Uh, here capital X can be any set in particular if you take capital X to be the set of naturals or natural numbers then also uh, the power set of uh, the set of natural numbers which means the set of all subsets of the set of natural numbers uh, that is a PU set and in fact this is an infinite PU set because the set of natural numbers itself is an infinite set. So, if we take all subsets of the set of natural numbers that will also be an infinite set. So, this this uh, power set of n this is an infinite PO set. Now, uh, what we have is we uh, so we are taking P uh, to be the power set of n which is an infinite PO set and Q is a subset of it and uh, the subset Q which we are taking is uh, that of all finite subsets of n. Now, this particular power set of n consists of all subsets of n. And out of this uh, set, which is the set of all subsets of n, we are taking Q to be uh, a set consisting of all finite subsets of n. Then the result says, the result has, uh, goes like this, that Q will have no maximal element. This is what the result says. Why? Why will Q have no maximal element? Because if you pick up any uh, element of Q, if you because q is the set of all uh, finite uh, subsets of uh, the set of naturals so if you take any a belonging to q if you pick up any a belonging to q then obviously uh, because q is the uh, set of all finite uh, subsets of the set of natural numbers so obviously a will be a finite subset of n now uh, uh, this is the set of naturals and uh, you are taking a to be uh, a finite subset of the set of naturals and this portion which is outside A, this portion, this portion is uh, N minus A. N minus A means uh, the complement of A, the portion which is not in A. So, this is A complement. So, uh, if you pick up any uh, natural number N uh, belonging to this particular portion which I have shaded, this shaded portion, this shaded portion is A complement. So, if you pick up any N belonging to A complement, then uh, A is definitely contained in A union N uh, because A is smaller, this capital A is smaller and A union N is bigger and also A union N, uh, this is also a finite subset of N because capital A itself is a finite subset of N and if I am adding only one element to it, one singleton element to it, then A union N uh, is also a finite subset of N and because uh, A union N is a finite subset of N, this becomes an element of Q. So, A union N belongs to Q. So, this means that if A, if you take uh, A belonging to Q to be any element and if you pick up any N belonging to A complement, uh, A complement in the set of naturals, then uh, A will always be contained in A union N where A union N will itself be an element of Q. 
which means that this particular a which we have taken belonging to q this can't act as a maximal element because for an element a belonging to q, q to be maximal uh, there should be no element of q which should be bigger than it and we are saying we are uh, we have just seen that this particular element is bigger than it because a is contained in it so this particular element a union n is an element of q which is bigger than a because a is contained in it so any element uh, whenever you have x is less than equal to y if you are in a po set p less than equal to and whenever x is less than equal to y then y which is on the right this particular element which is on the right is bigger than x uh, or or we can say that this is above x in the hash diagram this is bigger than x so this particular element this particular element a union n this is bigger than a which means that this a uh, cannot act as a maximal element because for an element to be maximal there should be no element of q which should be bigger than it but here whatever a you choose belonging to q you will always find uh, some a union n which uh, which will be such that it will be bigger than a and so a will not be able to act like a maximal element which means that a, that uh, you cannot have uh, any a belonging to q which can behave like a maximal element and so uh, this particular set q is uh, not uh, having a maximal element so this was uh, an example a particular typical example uh, in power set uh, uh, in which uh, you have that uh, there is a subset of uh, power set of the set of naturals a subset q of the uh, power set of uh, set of naturals uh, particularly q was taken as uh, the set of all finite subsets uh, of the set of naturals and this q we have seen that it doesn't have a maximal element so that is uh, all about maximal element and maximum in a po set